Hey there, it's Kevin Kennedy, and welcome to episode number five of Fusion Fridays. By the end of this video, you'll know how to insert pre-made parts from McMaster car. If you're not familiar with McMaster car, it's a parts distribution company located in the United States that has over 570,000 products in their catalog. Now they have a variety of mechanical, electrical, plumbing, and utility hardware products that are usually not all located in a single source. Probably one of the best parts about their website is that a lot of their products include free CAD files that you can download and use in your projects. So there are a few awesome benefits of this. First and foremost, it can save you a ton of time to use these pre-built components such as nuts and bolts. And second, you can order the parts directly from them and just about everything ships the same day or the next day. So it's a really efficient way to get the necessary parts for your project and you'll face less problems than trying to figure out if your local hardware store has all the parts that you need. Now what's even better is that Fusion 360 has an integration with their website making it even easier to use these pre-built parts. If you go to the insert drop-down list and then select the insert McMaster car component, you'll see that it pops up with their website and a dialog box. Now, I found that the best thing that you can do is move this dialog box to the upper left-hand corner and then drag the lower right-hand corner down so it fills the entire screen. Otherwise, when you look at the site in this small dialog box, you're constantly having to scroll to see everything. From here, you can see that you can insert fasteners, nuts, bolts, screws, and all kinds of mechanical stuff. I'll go ahead and click on screws and bolts, and then thumb screws, and then knobs. And you'll see that they give you these filter options on the left hand side. So maybe I'm looking for a plain threaded stud and I want a round knob. And if I scroll down just a bit, I'll click on the plastic round knob. And you'll see that it will show me all of the available sizes that can be ordered. Now to insert the desired size into your design, all you have to do is click on the product number, select product detail, and then scroll down until you see 3D SolidWorks. If I select this drop down, you'll see that I can select 3D Step File and click Save. And it will take just a minute to load, but when it's done loading, the part will be inserted into your file as a new component. And of course, you can move the component around if necessary before clicking OK. Now one other thing to note is that the component name is automatically named as the McMaster car part number, which makes it even easier for you to order the parts that you need. And of course you can always copy the number from the component and search it on the McMaster car website and it will take you right back to the product page where you can click on the product details should you need to reference anything. Now, even if you're not located in the US, this is a great way to save time with these pre-built models. And of course, you can always find the same products on another website or your local hardware store. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions at all about this tutorial or Fusion 360 questions in general, then be sure to comment them below. Hit that thumbs up icon if you learned something in this video and click subscribe followed by that little bell icon to be notified of more Fusion 360 tutorials.